Hi, this is Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. Today we're going to look at day two of our blended intermediate algebra class. Our focus is going to be on slopes of lines. Before we get started, I'd like you to pause the video and try to work on number one from our day two worksheet number three, which asks you to graph the line. Remember on day one, we learned how to graph a line using two different techniques. One was just plotting random points and the other was to find the x and y intercepts. Use the method of your choice. We're working on objectives one and two in Alex. Notice that the example you just worked referred to the standard form of the equation of a line, which is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers. Remember, on our exams, we'll be having some vocabulary questions, so it's important to learn vocabulary like the standard form of the equation of a line. We're going to focus on three methods for graphing lines. The two we've already seen, plotting random points and plotting x and y intercepts, and then a third, which involves the y-intercept, and the slope. But before we do the new one, number three, we're going to graph negative 2x plus y equals 2, the example that you just tried at home, using the x-intercept and y-intercept method. Recall that finding the y-intercept involves letting x equal 0, and finding the x-intercept involves letting y equal 0. Let's find the y-intercept first. Plugging in 0 for x, we have negative 2 times 0 plus y equals 2, or just y equals 2. So the y-intercept is the point where x is 0 and y is 2. Now let's find the x-intercept by letting y equal 0. This gives us negative 2x plus 0 equals 2, or just negative 2x equals 2. To get x by itself, we have to divide by negative 2, reversing the multiplication operation going on between the negative 2 and the x. This leaves us with x equals negative 1. So that means the x-intercept is the point where x is negative 1 and y is 0. By plotting the point 0, 2 and the point negative 1, 0 in the x-y coordinate system, we can connect the points and get this line. This line represents all the solutions to the equation negative 2x plus y equals 2. This is a technique that we did last time in class. Now we're going to talk about slope in great detail and how we can use slope to graph a line. The method we use to find the slope, which is a numerical expression for the direction of the line or the steepness of the line, depends on what information we're given. If we're given two points, we can use the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where m represents the slope. If we're given a graph, we can use the idea of rise over run. The third method for finding slope is when we're given the equation of the line. Instead of using the equation in standard form, we're going to have to rearrange the line into what's called slope intercept form, which basically just means solving for y. In other words, y has to be by itself. Once you do that, you're going to have something of the form y equals mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers, m being the slope, just like before, and b being the y-intercept, which we can tell because if we were to plug 0 in for x, the first term would go away and we'd be just left with a b. Let's analyze the line we've already graphed negative 2x plus y equals 2, using all three of these techniques to find the slope. We should find that we get the same slope no matter which of the three techniques we use. First, I'm going to look at the graph and use the rise over run technique. To use the rise over run technique, you need to pick a point on the graph, for example, negative 1, 0, and then imagine getting from that point to another point on the graph by moving horizontally and then vertically. When we're moving from one point to another, we're always going to consider any motions to the right to be positive and movements to the left to be negative. Any motions upward are going to be considered positive and any motions downward will be negative. In this case, you could think of moving from negative 1, 0 to 0, 2 as being a positive movement to the right, one unit, and up two units. The two units up is the rise, and the one unit to the right is the run. So one way of representing our slope, m, would be positive 2 over positive 1, which reduces to just 2. You might be wondering, what happens if I start at a different point? For example, another person might decide to start at the point 0, 2. That person would then have to travel two units down. Remember, downward is a negative direction. 
That would make the rise, actually a fall, two units down or negative two. But that person would have to go to the left one unit, which would make the run negative as well. This means that our slope, which is rise over run, would be negative two divided by negative one, which still turns out to be a positive two. So using this rise over run method, we get a slope of positive two. Let's see what happens when we use another method. Since we know the coordinates of the two points, negative one, zero, and zero, two, we could use the method of the slope between x1, y1, and x2, y2. We'll use this method in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like it to help other students find the video.